All right, today I have a 2007 Chevy Uplander 4T65E uh, that came in with no forward. All right, this is a very, very common problem. I see this a lot. Uh, probably in the last couple of months, I, I've done maybe six of these units and five of them came in with no forward, which is the broken one, two band. And the other one uh, didn't have a broken band, but uh, it was shifting out of sequence and, and starting out in higher gears. And that ended up being a uh, stuck actuator fee limit valve, which I want to touch on that and show you the location. You got to make sure that valve is free. Um, but the main thing is I want to go over uh, why I think the band breaks and what I do to, to prevent that from happening again. All right, so I had to tear the unit down and clean it because it's extremely busy and I still got transmissions coming out. Um, but I have the broken band here. Um, I have the servo pin, have the EPC solenoid. So I want to get a little closer and go over uh, why I think the band breaks and, and one of the main reasons uh, why I think that happens. Actually, two of the main reasons are, number one is, is servo pin travel. Okay, this has to travel probably about 400 thousandths uh, the servo to apply the band, which is, which is a lot. And I think also that the EPC solenoid has something to do with it, possibly because it's malfunctioning. And if it doesn't react to the pressurize put, that the computer wants to see, uh, the computer is going to keep notching up the pressure. And then eventually it's just going to snap the band. I mean, it's just a clean break. It just, every time, it just snaps it, the piece right off. So again, um, I have other parts that I'm going to be installing. Sonics has a really good product that came out with recently, which is a servo pin I'm going to show you. And I always change the EPC solenoid on every overhaul, especially if we're dealing with a broken band, because again, I do think that has something to do with it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get a little closer, and I'm going to show you the, the broken parts and original parts and, and what is going to be going back in. And then again, I just want to touch real quick on the actuator feel of it valve uh, in the channel plate. Uh, you got to make sure that thing is nice and free and no debris is in there. Um, because from time to time, you may get a transmission shifting out of sequence, starting out in a higher gear, doing a 1-3 shift cold, and then when it heats up it works okay. Uh, of course the uh, usual suspects may be shift solenoids, uh, shift valves, but if that all looks good then you're going to want to look at the actuator feed limit valve. Alright, so uh, again let me get a little closer and we're going to get started with the broken band. All right, all right. So once again, here's the here's the band. It was a pretty much a clean break, like it normally uh, always is. Okay, and I just wanted to mention one other thing. Um, if you have good reverse and you have no forward, then you're definitely dealing with a broken band. Okay, this is the uh, input drum to the 4T65V. Here is the forward piston. Now, the inner lip seal on this piston sometimes tends to tear or tends to roll. And the thing is with the forward clutch, or the input clutch on this transmission, this input clutch is on and forward and on in reverse. All right, so if you have an issue with this car moving forward or reverse, you could be dealing with something uh, as far as the input clutch or the input spray goes. All right, but the band is only on in forward. So again, very common problem, but you have good reverse, you know you're dealing with a broken band. Not much you can do about it other than pull the transmission out and replace the band. So you got something like that, it's definitely going to have to come out of the car. Alright, so here is the uh, original servo pin. Here is the original EPC solenoid. So other than, like I said, uh, servo travel, uh, is is way too much. Again, it's about probably about four hundred thousandths. Let me see if I can just get a little closer in here. Okay. Um, I think also 
uh, doing some research on this problem, uh, a malfunctioning EPC solenoid uh, comes into play. And, and what I mean by that is uh, the solenoid cannot react to the pressure rise that the computer wants to see. So when you put this car in drive, and this is all within a matter of seconds, if you put this car in drive and the solenoid does not react, the computer is going to keep notching up the pressure. Uh, possibly it could be maxed out or close to being maxed out and it's going to be applying this band and it's going to snap the thing right off. All right, so again, um, on, on the overhauls, of course it gets a band. I'm going to change the pin to a Sonics pin and the EPC solenoid. Here I have new AC Delco. All right, now I want to just quickly show you this pin here. This thing is a great, great product uh, that was put out by Sonics. First of all, on this pin, all right, it is 200 thousandths longer than the original. All right, so that's going to cut that band travel in half, which is great. Okay, the second thing is it has two Teflon rings, okay, that go in here because this case could tend to wear and that will help prevent oil leaking from the case wear. All right, so again, here it is, and you can see that is 200 thousandths longer, and again, cuts that band travel in half. Great, great idea. Here are the couple of Teflon rings, and you wanna make sure that what I would do uh, if you're installing this pin is Put the Teflon seals on here, puts a lot of grease on it. Uh, for, for these seals, I like to use the thicker stuff, so I use the green uh, trans gel. And I want to first fit the seals onto the pin and put the pin into the case to make sure that they're not going to get caught and get torn. It's a pretty, pretty tight fit, there's no chamfer. So you want to be very careful with that. Okay, so that's what I think causes this extremely common problem uh, with this band breaking. All right, like I said, um, I mean, we get a lot of these. Uh, I did, again, six of these, at least six of these the last couple of months, five of them with broken bands. And one of them had a stuck actuator feeling valve. And here is the channel plate. Just back out a little bit. Okay. All right, so here is the channel plate of this transmission. The actuator feeling valve lives in here. You got a little orifice you want to make sure is clear. Let me just turn my light back on. Okay, and this is the valve. Valve goes in first spring and then the stopper, that is the valve. Okay, and you wanna make sure that this is nice and free. You know, pretty much, I like to, see that went right in no problem, but I like to make sure, just like what I do with Hondas, is that this valve drops in under its own weight. Right, and it comes right out. So again, uh, if you have a transmission that uh, is shifting out of sequence, you know, starting out in a higher gear, maybe shifting one free. Now right here is the valve body. Uh, again, usual suspects here. These are your shift solenoids, your shift valves. And if all that looks good, then more than likely want to go to that actuator feed limit valve. Um, I do see this, I've been seeing this a lot more than normal. Uh, you know, these transmissions come in, the, uh, the planetaries are bad, uh, or something else, the diffs may go bad, and, and slightest piece of whatever gets in here, uh, it is going to make this valve stick and uh, make it, uh, again, shift erratically. When it heats up, it you know, it may be okay, but depending on how severe um, it's stuck in the board there. All right, so I just wanted to touch on, um, especially the band on a 4T65E, a uh, very common problem. 
and I'm going to take those, um, uh, put those uh, parts in uh, as what I think will, you know, fix the problem or prevent it from happening again. All right, but definitely uh, this servo pin is a, is, a, is a big problem with the amount of travel it has. Uh, and I guess that's about it. So again, 4T65E, common problem of no forward movement due to a broken band. All right, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you next one.